Hey folks, and welcome to Traveler Tuesday, where we have for you a look at the Traveler Explorers Edition. Now, this was a product that Mongoose Publishing put out to support their Mongoose Traveler 2nd Edition game. And what it is, is basically a cut-down version of those rules. A lot of the core systems are, are in there, so this is actually, I think, a pretty decent product to like hand out to your players if you want them to have kind of a primer on the rules. Um, it does have a significantly cut down character creation system, however, and we're going to take a look at that. So without any further ado, let's take a look. Before we get started, I'll mention that you can either obtain this in PDF form through Mongoose themselves or through DriveThruRPG. The cost for the PDF is $1. If you want a physical copy, those are still available through Mongoose, and that will run you $20. I, of course, because I am a traveler knucklehead, um, ordered a physical copy, but we're looking here at the PDF today, and we can see that it is a 74-page PDF with a pretty attractive cover. Cover art here is, but it doesn't actually tell me who the cover art is, but the author of the product is listed as Christopher Griffin. So take a look here. We have a brief introduction, some instructions on the various die rolling notations and stuff like that. It's pretty standard stuff. Uh, traveler creation. Another thing that we really don't get in here is pre-career um, opportunities like military academies and college. Um, we go instead directly to the two available career paths um, in the Explorer's Edition, the Scholar um, and the Scout. Other than leaving those things out, this is a relatively complete treatment of the character creation system. This kind of gives you the whole thing, the whole thing as far as process is concerned, but it really only get, it only gives you these two career paths, the scout and the scholar. And this is kind of pitched as like, okay, you can use this for an exploration-based campaign, probably with a relatively small number of players, which you could totally do. You could run a game out of this, but you'd, you'd probably be tailoring that game to fit what's available in these rules. Whereas if you actually go get the core book, you have a much more robust character creation system that allows you to do a lot of different kinds of characters, not just scouts and scholars. All right, so we've got the traditional life events, some info on aging some info on injuries. Another thing that we're not getting here, I guess I, I don't know whether either of these two careers are modified in any way from what they are in the core game. Um, because another thing we don't have is augments. I will uh, also point out that, actually augments are in here. I will point out that there are bookmarks in here. An awful lot of P gaming PDFs don't include bookmarks. It's really pretty annoying. Um, but they are here, and it's, uh, you know, there's not a million of them, but it's only a 74-page book, so it's, it's, this is at least a good start toward bookmarks. All right, skills and tasks. We got the basics of the skills and task system. I'm going to guess and speculate that the skills that are pro being provided here are only the skills that are available in the two career paths that we get in the Explorer's Edition, although I'm not going to compare the two lists side by side to verify that. Um, combat, we pretty much have, I mean, there's some bells and whistles that aren't here, but we pretty much have the Traveler Mongoose 2nd Edition combat system here, um, which is a combat system that works fine. Obviously, we have a relatively stripped down selection of equipment here, including armor. There's a couple different kinds of armor. There's a couple different kinds of augments. These are probably going to be the most common kinds that players will want. Um, communications gear, computers and software. Layout in here is pretty nice. Um, just quantum leaps. Um, there, there's a lot to recommend Mongoose Traveler First Edition, actually. I, there, I know some people who actually prefer it, uh, but the presentation and layout of the second edition material is just a, you know, multiple orders of magnitude better. Um, here's some medical supplies, um, expert skills for computers, um, some, some basic sensor equipment, survival gear and supplies. I don't know if I would, if I had an exploration focused game, um, I don't know that what I would run out of this would be an open-ended campaign in that sense, uh, but you could totally run, um, say, you know, a, a survival game or, or something like that out of just this book. Um, here's some weapons, uh, some melee weapons, some slug weapons, a few energy weapons, 
laser pistols are in here. They were not in the original Classic Traveler, although you could extrapolate your own if you wanted. Um, here's a basic guide to spacecraft operations, and this is pretty much most of this, uh, this material as well. We have um, some rules on sensors, which is great. I should really review those rules because they're going to be relevant to an upcoming project. Here's space combat. The space combat rules are in here. And we have, oh, we, we have a few sidebars here too. So here's the air raft as a sidebar. Um, if you think of this vehicle as like a land speeder from Star Wars, you're not terribly far off. The capacity is a little higher, however. And this can actually fly as opposed to just like hover. You can actually take these to orbit if you want. But there's no roof, so you better be wearing a vac suit if you do that. Here is a scout courier, which is kind of the default ship for this particular product. Uh, this is the classic Type S scout courier. Um, we're back to the overhead deck plans, which I prefer, and everybody I've ever talked to prefers. The isomorphic deck plans looked cool, but they were less useful. Um, we get pretty much the entire world and universe creation uh, algorithm here as well. Um, at some point, if you'd like to see this, let me know in the comments. Uh, we will do a walkthrough of that process. Um, complete descriptions of all what the all the UWP codes mean, all of that. That's all here, and that's pretty much the whole game. There is an index, which I kind of feel like with something this tight, I don't know that I needed. Um, you could totally run a game out of this product. Um, it's not incredibly robust, and obviously it's not as robust as the full Traveler rules, but if you kind of want an introductory look at the way Mongoose Traveler works, um, for a PDF cost of a dollar, this is not a terrible choice. So do I recommend this product? To be honest, if you've got the full Mongoose Traveler 2nd Edition rule set, either in the book or in the starter set, which despite the name actually contains the complete rules to the game, then the Explorer's Edition is a bit of a novelty product. Maybe you can use it as a handout, and for a dollar, maybe it's worth having the PDF. But if you have the full rules, you really don't need it. On the other hand, if you'd like a taste of what Mongoose 2nd Edition has to offer, with the caveat that you're seeing a kind of restricted subset of what is available as far as options go in the full rules, then the Explorer's Edition is a pretty good look at the game. Massive thanks to the patrons of Ardwolf Slayer, whose support and encouragement make what we do at Ardwolf Slayer possible. Thank you, patrons. Links to help support the channel are in the video description, so check out the Patreon, the Ko-Fi, and the merch store, where you can get snazzy Ardwolf Slayer t-shirts, drinking vessels, and other cool swag. There is also an affiliate link for Noble Knight Games in the video description. If you buy stuff through that affiliate link, you'll help yourself support the channel drive Noble Knight store credit. Thank you, Noble Knight. PDF is one dollar. If you want a physical copy, those are still available through Mongoose, and that will run you twenty dollars. I, of course, because I am a traveler knucklehead um ordered a physical copy but we're looking here at the pdf today and we can see that it is a 74 page pdf with a pretty attractive cover cover art here is but uh, it doesn't actually tell me who the cover art is but the author of the product is listed